Right, last night's tale from the tales from the garden <laughs> was uh, Elvino did flow, but we are ahead of schedule, and I'm I'm just heading to the coast. I've made a, a little. I've got a wire coat hanger that I've made into like a, a well, a coat hanger. It's already a hook. I've elongated it. I've crushed a, a coat hanger basically. It's not exactly Blue Peter, mate. Right, let's get to the coast. There's the sea. Woohoo! Right, uh, I'm here. I've not been now down this way before, so I'm just doing a quick recce. <laughs> this is what we call adventuring. But I need to get in the water in the next sort of 15 20 minutes. So I've timed it to be in an, an hour before low tide, which gives us slack water. Right, can't really see the floor very well, so hopefully, hopefully it doesn't just fall to go straight off the end of that cliff. Look at that. That's a sheer drop right there. Whoa. That's where I want to be. Look, visibility looks good. This path is nuts though. Uh, right, we need another plan. Come on, let's get off the end of this cliff. Because you don't, it's just precarious and I don't like it. <laughs> Whee! Not worth dying of her, kids. Not worth dying of her. Oh. Oh. Right, get out of here. Right, another plan, let's go. Right. I think I've seen a way down. But <laughs> it does mean that sort of repelling down on a couple of ropes, but <sighs> we'll see, mate. All that S, uh, SBS training coming in handy. Special boat service, mate. Right, let's get in. Let's get kitted up and get in soup. I just got a little bit of conditioner and mix it with water and put it inside the wetsuit so it slides on easier. Then you've got the joy of having a wet cold wetsuit to put on which is absolutely lovely for safety and all, well, not to protect me against anything. In case I get caught up in any nets or out like that, I've got a knife and also taking this, which is a, it's a rope cutter. I'll have that on my belt and that can, that can cut, you just put it in, pull the rope through it and it'll cut thick rope, fishing wire, whatever. And that's gone my belt. 
there's extra protection that's on my stomach ready just to boom i know where that is easy access the knife easy access rock and roll mate my sd card ran out on my um as soon as I was entering the water, my SD card ran out, so I didn't even get any footage of the underwater, so that was a bit of a pain. So I don't have enough weight on me. Um, I've got enough weight to dive deep um, and, and sort of be neutral on the bottom, but for, for shallow dives of anywhere up to five metres, I've got nowhere near enough, so I was fighting, I was struggling to stay on the bottom and using a lot of energy and a lot of oxygen, so... <clears throat> I need more weight next time. I lost my dive knife because it was so, there's so much kelp that I'm. I was wrestling through the kelp and it must have just just came out. So that that's a, that's gone. So if anyone's anyone finds my knife, it North Sea purple handle on it. I'll have it back, thanks. Um, what else? Didn't see much, mate. So um, I saw uh, like a schooler. We call them sprats. Uh, jetted past me and then so I, I, I thought oh they must be getting chased by someone and I hung I hung still and I couldn't see anything nothing came past so I sacked my um, I sacked the spear off left it on the side and dived down see if I could find some lobsters crabs but again not enough weight on me so I was so buoyant um, I was so buoyant that I was fighting sort of holding on to the the seaweed to try and keep myself down to to look under and that uses so much energy so my breath holds were just just a bit short i wasn't able to get the long breath holds that i've been training to do i'm warm now like right so yeah sorry about that i didn't i was half i'm a very optimistic person so i was expecting to be coming out of there just draped in sea bass and lobsters and that um it wasn't the case and uh Oh, I'll tell you what I did get. <laughs> yeah? So, who's the real winner? Got myself a new lure. <laughs> so that's... Always look on the bright side. <laughs> Got one of them, and So that's good. That's a couple of quid saved. Okay, well, I'm not going to look at that as unsuccessful because I learned a lot there. Yeah, I lost my new knife <laughs> and I'd str struggle to stay at the, at the bottom because of the weight of, of my belt, but it's invaluable and the only way you'll ever get good at something is just to keep doing it. So I'm going to keep doing it. I'm up early and I'm off back. I'm giving myself a lot more time now just to get everything in check and I'm going to spend a couple of hours in the water just longer than before really focus on my breath hold find something like rocks or something to hold onto to keep me at the bottom and I've got to pick my daughter up at tea time so I've got a few hours let's see if we can bring you something or at least get some footage of underwater and let you have a little look because it's, it's Although the visibility is not great, the things that you do see, it's quite beautiful, so let's make our way to the coast again. Ding, ding, round two. All geared up. Back here, you've seen me go down here before. The only thing that would make it any, more, any more interesting is if I, if I sort of stacked it. <laughs> but I'm like a mountain lion, so that ain't gonna happen. Uh, look at that, like a giant like as if, can you imagine if if Chuck Norris wore a condom, this is what it looked like. Me. <laughs> right, got myself a nice little spot. Ugh. All my gear on and that, look at it. It looks quite inviting actually, so. <sighs> the tide is still going out. So my stuff will be safe there for a nap for a couple of hours. Uh, and because I'm not, I don't have a like a line threader or a net or anything to keep the catches in. Like there's going to be catches. And because I'm not going far out, if I catch anything, I'll uh, 
Because uh, I lost me the night. I can't hear anything. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, because I lost my uh, diving knife. What I've done is I've just I've brought uh, one of my old Moras out, which is uh, it's stainless steel, and I've put some straps on it and attached that to my leg. It's not very well held in, but hopefully that'll do. And uh, if not, what do I have? Uh, I just cut a bit of. Uh, I just cut a bit of hazel on my way down, and uh, that I'll just use that as a priest. So if I shoot some, I feel like I'm going to shoot some. Ah, whatever. If I shoot some, and I don't completely brain it first time, I'm just going to bring it in and let the priest do its work. Uh, and if I get a crab or a lobster. I'm just going to dispatch it with knife, and if I don't have the knife, then uh, I'll just get a fire going at the beach and we'll just cook them up straight away. Far too buoyant, dude. <sighs> Yeah, mate. Yeah. All right. I'm all good, mate. Yeah. Okay. All right, lads. Yeah, no all right, cool. There you go. The Coast Guard. The Coast Guard checking in on me, see if I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright, man. Yeah, thanks. I'm trying to get down. I can't hear. I'm trying to get down beneath the. Um, in between the kelp and the rocks. To sort of sit stationary, but I can't. Because I'm too buoyant. Two, four, six. I've only got six. I think it's six kilos of weights. So I'm definitely going to need some more weights because I can't even hold on to rocks at the bottom. I can't find any fish anywhere, they're not coming to me. So I might have a little look for some uh, crustaceans. <laughs> but it's just lovely being out here. All right, mate. Are you the reason there's no fish down? I'd have absolutely cacked it if you'd have come and said hello while I was down there. Probably would have shot you and had you on barbecue. I wouldn't. Oh, lovely. Ian Beale. Right, see you later, lad. Take care, yeah? Some people are saying, uh, suit up and go and get in there with Ian Beale, but...
Makes me nervous, like. Makes me nervous swimming with Ian Beale. Look at him. Hey up. Hey, don't be scared, lad. Ian Beale, I might get in there, shall I? Uh, I can't do it! <laughs> well, I've been in a good couple of hours now and I've got stuff I need to do so I have to admit defeat for the second day on bounce. <laughs> oh mate. Oh well. It's been lovely down there, hopefully I got some good footage. <laughs> oh. Needed. Mm. Oh, I just... <sighs> Tell you what. been slurping North Sea. A few Brambolinos. They're a welcome treat. Beautiful. Right, third day out bounce. We're camping in a, a friend's in a friend's garden tonight so it would be nice to give that friend a lobster as payment for letting us uh, letting us camp on their land so as i was diving down i just caught the glimpse of a lobster's claws you can see there in the picture so i dropped my spear gun so i had a marker so i knew where it was so because the the tide drifts you about so if you come back up and you go back down you might not be in the same place so i left my spear gun grabbed my crustacean removal device aka crushed coat hanger and then swam down and had a little bit of a tussle with her. wrestled with a huge lobster and I managed to get another lobster he's in my bag or oh, she's in my bag uh, it's nothing to write home about it's not massive or anything it's just regulation just above regulation size but uh, I'm gonna have to work on my um, on my filming skills in the water to bring you a proper story <laughs> but I guess I'm doing it more for me than for you so I had a real good time I got a shot off at quite a big, uh, quite a big wrasse, and I know they're not perfect eating, but I'd have ate it. But it's huge, beautiful fish. Got a shot off, but I'm a shit shot, so I missed it. So. <laughs> garden we kept in last night. Me and Alice kept in the helm too. The seedling over there in the Lanshan 1. Um, I woke up next to a lovely little water feature. It's a beautiful garden. Yeah. Um, I'll give you a little look. 
and we chilled down here last night. Cooked up the lobster as a as a token of, of gratitude for letting us stay in this in their lovely garden, our friends. Even got a sauna look. <sighs> Beautiful day. I'll bring you a top tip. Bear with me. Put you on here. Horse chestnut, which is basically the conker leaf. A little bit of water. It creates a, a soap. There you go. Horse chestnut. Bushcraft soap. Top tip. <laughs> Stealth camping. Hopefully on the next one. <laughs> the next spearfishing I'll bring you the actual catch and cook. But I'm just learning. Here, here she is, just emerged from her wigwam. They're gonna wave, say bye. Bye.